Okay, next part of the V12 strip down. So just before we use Merida again, um, we know this one's going to be, this cylinder head is going to be pretty much the same as the other one, which means it's going to be horrendous. We know that because when you look down here, these little bolts here, they're just hanging and there's water pouring out, old, grey, dirty, black, manky water. Um, so we've, we've got a really good idea that these things here, they're going to, yeah, this head's just going to be as, as bad as the other one. But that's her pretty much stripped, if you notice everything's out of it. Pretty much ready for Merida to go on. And then we'll draw it back. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we lift her up. Thousandths of an inch by thousandths of an inch. Nice and easy. Notice she's not been broken there. So, ready for a strip off. I'm just going to put Merida on and I'll be back to you shortly. Okay. Okay, Merida's in place, not bolted down yet. Well, that's her pretty much sitting in pretty in position. Puffing like an old steam engine here. So there you go, that's her sat in position on top of all the rocker but on top of the cam bolts. Ready for being put up. Let me show you a shot down here, look. Each hole lines up with the head bolts. See in there look. Good, isn't it? There you go. So what we'll do now is I'll get her all ready and show you how we jack it off a little bit at a time. There you go. It's not been broken yet. Look, monkey, monkey thing. There we go. Okay. His Merida in place, doing her stuff. Each one of the bolts is screwed down. So we have the jacking bolts here, the retaining bolts here. These now are all down pretty tight. I guess it's the first stage. So each one of these bolts now has, has achieved its first stage. I'll show you that just now. As we're doing this, it's imperative to understand that as we do it, it has to be jacked off straight. And you see that it's broken. The head's actually started coming away. Now the interesting thing is that this head is absolutely solid. Sorry about the focus. I'm not right clever with this. Here we go, the focus is not right clever. So here we've got the gap is even all the way around. And that's because we designed Merida so that she would have a first stage operation. So right now the whole thing's down as far as she goes. So she's bottomed out here. You can see how at this point here at this point here, the jacking bolts are down as far as they go. So what we have to do now is we're going to put on some extensions to these points here so that we can continue the pushing. So there she is, doing her stuff. And it's hard to imagine with that gap, but she is. this head is completely seized into place. But Merida's doing her stuff, just as we'd expect her to. It's interesting at this point also to note that when you're jacking one of these heads off, some of the bolts, as you can see with this one here, sorry about the focus, but um, some of these bolts are completely made up solid. So they've gone into the heads like this one, see it? Once they're inside the head, they're absolutely solid. And yet look at this, some of them are like brand new. Amazing, isn't it? And these are all original. You get some of them like brand new, others have leaked completely into the head, and this is why we take so much care taking them off, taking the heads off. So there you go. So that's Merida doing her stuff. Jaguar V12 engine being taken off very carefully. And these heads normally would be destroyed. I've seen people take angle grinders to them, but not this. This is absolutely ideal, it's coming off nicely gap appearing all the way around. Okay, I'll show you when we get the heads off. So there we go, that's the heads off. By the way, the difference in this video is that was an hour and a half of hard work. But there you go, that's Merida and she's taking the head off perfectly intact. Now look at this, this thing was seized solid.
absolutely sees solid. And just for those of you doubters out there, Meredith has never yet failed to take a head off. Look how bad these heads are. And she has never once yet failed to take the heads off. Here's the other side with the, the studs. All the studs all grown. Obviously the heads and the head gaskets on these had all blown up the tubes. So what we've got is we've blown up the head tubes up the shafts of these studs. And that's what's caused the growth all the way up here. You see that? Absolutely solid. Merida, good old redhead. She's done it again. And that's it. So that's the heads of a very badly corroded V12 engine. The engine, by the way, is about to be completely overhauled, hence the reason why the timing chains are dropped inside, not using the JD40 timing tool, not point because they're all coming off. So there you go. Well, nicely done. Very worn, corroded engine, stripped by Merida, the tool by King Cal Classic Cars. Thanks for watching.